Climate change is one of the largest obstacles facing countries around the world. Sustainable, low-carbon living has become the way forward, and the construction industry is at the forefront combating the global warming crisis. Home to Hong Kong's first zero-carbon building, CIC's SCP showcases the latest in advanced low-carbon construction technologies both locally and internationally. The grounds have been recently revamped and contain Hong Kong's first ever native urban woodland. This acts as a city lung for the Kowloon East area, breathing new life and clean air into Hong Kong. Let me tell you a bit about the creativity behind the zero-carbon design and technology. This MIC Display Center is the first in Hong Kong to use the modular integrated construction method. The design of the five show flats are based on the city's day-to-day -day living environments, including residential units with one or three bedrooms, dormitories, elderly homes and hotel rooms. The Display Center adopted the factory assembly followed by on-site installation construction approach, in which the building is divided into 10 parts. Components that involve complex, highly labor but intensive processes are completed in the factory and then transported to the construction site to be assembled. Using this method saves time, minimizes material waste, and improves construction site safety, therefore enhancing production quality and environmental performance. In recent years, many local and international construction projects have adopted the MIC approach. In Hong Kong, for instance, the disciplined services quarters for the fire services department in Park Shin Kok Chun Kwan O, the University of Hong Kong Wong Chuk Hang Students Dormitory, and elderly housing for the Housing Society in Jet Min Chun Sha Ting are all residential projects that have successfully adopted the MIC method. In the near future, this approach will be applied to many more construction projects and public works, effectively promoting the sustainable development of the construction industry. This Echo Cafe has a glass canopy that uses the same design and technology as the new air improvement photovoltaic pavilions, or ARPV in short, and is made of 90% recyclable materials. This type of glass not only comes in different shapes, thickness and color, but also contains a nano-thin film of photovoltaic material to convert solar power into electricity. The renewable energy is used to power the eco-cafe as well as the pavilion's charging ports, which reduces carbon emissions even further. In addition, both the canopy and pavilions are also equipped with an outdoor air quality improvement coating, Solar IAQ. Its anti-static and hydrophilic properties, which reduces the stickiness of pollutants on the surface, make it easier for pollutants to be washed away by wind and rain. Scientific evidence show that this coating effectively purifies nitrogen oxides, formaldehyde, toluene, etc. in the air. Tests show that ammonia rate was reduced by 96.6% and up to 99.9% .9 of bacteria was eliminated. In the past, solar panels could only be fitted onto new roofs, but new materials such as this can be installed on the external wall of buildings or replace existing windows, creating a wider range of applications for the future. Apart from the Eco Cafe and the air purification solar pavilions, there is also the newly built mini pavilion, which has a solar powered ventilation system. It features a green wall and requires no electrical supply or water pipes. To save time and resources, the plants are able to self irrigate using their own capillary system. On top of this, the green wall has heat insulation and cooling functions. Studies have shown that the temperature of the green wall differs by about 3.5 to 6 degrees Celsius to an ordinary wall, effectively reducing the urban heat island effect and at the same time minimizing dust and carbon dioxide in the air, saving energy and reducing unnecessary carbon emissions. 
Another special feature is the turf at CIC's SCP. We've used a special zero-carbon building tray plant system, which allows visitors to freely walk on the grass without damaging the soil underneath. The system consists of a non-embedded free assembly design, combining a drainage system and contingency water storage compartments in the lowest layer. This helps plants retain water and reduces irrigation frequency. The composite filter in the middle helps prevent water blockage, improves drainage and uses highly permeable sand to provide effective protection for plant growth, bringing numerous environmental benefits. Next to me is another highlight of the park, the newly added aquaponics water feature. There is more than meets the eye because the pool uses a water restructuring unit to improve water quality. Under normal circumstances, the water molecule volume of untreated water is much larger. However, the water restructuring effect reduces their volume, allowing fish and plants to take in more oxygen, nutrients and minerals, which creates a stronger and healthier ecosystem. The pool also consists of different types of aquatic plants such as windmill grass, lotus flowers, water lilies and so on, adding more greenery to the park. Using a series of environmentally friendly planting methods, there are more than 200 different species of trees and flowers in the urban woodland and trail. These include the use of organic crab shell fertilizers, drip line irrigation devices and so on. This results in fertile soil for better and healthier tree growth. There is also a 300 meter long circular jogging track in the park. It uses a glow-in-the-dark photoluminescent paint, which absorbs ultraviolet rays from the sun in the day and then glows at night, providing a beautifully lit yet eco-friendly track for runners. Above the aquaponics water feature are wooden planks, which have an air purifying effect. Finished with a special coating, the protective liquid penetrates the wood to form crystals that maintain internal moisture balance. This also helps deter termites, insects, and other pests to enhance durability. In addition to introducing zero-carbon building technologies, CIZ Zero Carbon Park has also incorporated numerous environmentally friendly design details. Low carbon and sustainable building materials such as paving tiles that remove air pollutants and paint for exterior walls that reflect heat have been used. There has also been an emphasis on reducing construction material waste. In addition, different types of solar panels are installed in different areas of the venue to maximize energy generation. A biodiesel generator that uses waste cooking oil has been installed to promote the use of renewable energy. CIC Zero Carbon Park constantly looks to find innovative ways to optimize energy efficiency. For example, Hong Kong's first EMMIC stormwater air conditioning system uses rainwater from an underground box culvert as a condensing medium providing a more environmentally friendly yet energy-efficient air conditioning system. Compared with conventional air-cooled units, energy consumption is reduced by half, greatly lowering total carbon emissions. Multiple sensors have been installed around CIC's SCP which monitor building and installation operations. The energy consumption and carbon emissions data are then analyzed in-house. This will hopefully one day become the blueprint for future sustainable development projects. CIZ Zero Carbon Park will continue acting as the city lung of East Kowloon, showcase even more innovative green building technologies and continue to promote a low-carbon lifestyle to create a greener, more sustainable future.